Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, today's date, it's Friday the 1st of May and you can probably hear noise going on. I'm on night shift tonight. I didn't do a um, chat with me last night and I'll explain that shortly. Um, but yeah, we've got stuff going on in the house today. So you'll hear noises. You'll be used to bow. You'll probably hear the uh, washing machine going as well. <laughs> um, you get other noises because Nathan's home. Uh, he's home Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Whoops. And that sounds like Bo's gone missing. Hang on a sec. Okay, that uh, Bo did bolt. Uh, we have him now. He is locked in the room with me. Uh, with the garage door open, the front door wide open because work that's happening, which I'm starting to tell you about. Bo? Bo, on your bed. Go on, get on your bed. You're not going back out there. Um, yeah, so he, he's... Normally we have that, those, if we have those doors open and we're out there, he just wanders in and out without any issue, but nobody was... He, I think he realised nobody was actually keeping an eye on him. So yeah, he was uh, down the park, <clears throat> basically heading heading in the direction that we go for our walks. <laughs> he decided to take himself for a walk. And he's now sulking, aren't you? Because you got in trouble. Uh, yeah, so, yep, yeah, we've got the um, Nathan's mate, one of Nathan's mates, one of the sparky mates that he's got, is out the front of the house installing down lights in the lounge room, our hallway and our bedroom and our wardrobe as well because we're walking wardrobe which means well tonight I'm on night shift you're gonna sit down buddy uh, which yeah in in about two hours from now I will be going to bed uh, which means everything means these things are happening um, I will be heading and sleeping in the guest bedroom to stay away from the noise so that I get to sleep can you hear Bo? hang on Bo, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him, but he's sulking. <laughs> Bo got in trouble. <laughs> um, yeah, the Sparky will. Hopefully, he'll have most of the stuff done. Uh, but down it he's pretty quick he is good he's, he's pretty quick Nathan is um, doing a rod repair so on a fishing rod Nathan builds rods Bo is in with me <laughs> Nathan's just doing a check <coughs> um, yeah so he that builds rods and does rod fishing rod uh, repairs uh, which he's doing for, I think he's doing it for a customer, uh, where he works. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, okay, now, guest bedroom. This will be the first time I've slept in the guest bedroom. I will say, though, that is my old mattress. My mattress before Nathan and I, well, before Nathan decided that my mattress was not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah hopefully I'll be able to get some sleep um, Rachel <laughs> I will say this the sleeping position I get into 
is the coma position. So when you do first aid, you to it, it's really strange, but you put somebody in what's called a coma position, and for some reason, it works. But basically, you're you roll basically you roll over and you're on your tummy. Uh, and I cocoon myself <laughs> and Nathan knows when I'm going to sleep because I, I pull the blankets up over both of my shoulders and wrap hold them tight around my shoulders and that's how I go to sleep it's really really funny yeah. now reason for no whip and chat recorded last night which is why you got the um kidding up which I thought you'd enjoy that one I had that one recorded and ready to be released I was going to do it while I was on night shift um, yeah there was a, another incident at work <laughs> one of the controllers turned around and said to me I swear those guys those drivers they wait until you are on before they stuff up. So the worst thing was is when it happened. So when um, how do I put it? We do handover, so we have somebody else there who's going to take control of the board. So you're going through everything, where every train is, what your last authority for, and whether someone's on board. <clears throat> what, you know what stages they're at and what your plans are for it <coughs> excuse me and yeah so this one I'd actually already said driver was setting back he was coupling up there was going to be a crew change um, but his last authority was to uh, set back into this road couple up set up because cool uh, and on our screen we can see where a train is or isn't and as I was talking about another section of the tra rail line I noticed where a train should have been it was no longer there uh, yeah it's yeah so uh, it's like uh, I need to pause this handover and deal with this. So, supervisor, we paused this handover. Supervisor came round. I told her what happened, um, and had to. She got to and listened to recordings. Um, so we hear. Well, she can hear what I've what all my radio calls, but they also hear all radio calls. So in the all other channels that are used within BHP, and yep, two things the driver did wrong, and it wasn't the original driver. So that's what's one of the things that was wrong. I normally when a crew changes out, you get a new driver. New driver comes on and lets you know he's changed out and what the authority is that you know we'd go normally they'd go oh, just change out the driver is the authority still rah, 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 rah. well this driver actually they did the crew change out driver didn't call up to say he'd had a crew change or he didn't wait for the handover to be completed uh, to get an authority to move so the last movement that I <laughs> Excuse that noise. The last <laughs> manhole's open. Uh, last authority I had given was to yeah set back, couple and call. And when I've looked up, when I'm doing the handover, I've realised he's going forwards. Uh, yeah, so did the handover, and I was that handover. I was flustered. Um, yeah, it was not not good. Uh, listen to the recordings. Supervisor, listen. We don't get to listen to the recordings unless we actually stuff up. 
then you'll be played, well, this is what you did wrong. Uh, so yeah, I've gotten off the board, supervisors listened to recordings, I've turned around and said I'll get a cuppa while you're doing that, and she's like, yep, made my cuppa, I can't, I'm not allowed to drink my cuppa, uh, I'm not allowed to drink anything at that stage, we'll explain what happens with this process. Um, yeah. <sighs> So what happens is supervisor listens to the radio and establishes whether the controller or me um, has done all the right things and the fact that picked up that there was no radio call for going forward. Um, if something had happened and I was at fault with my radio call, I would have had to have uh, drug and alcohol testing, which means, which is why I can't have anything to drink. But I've come back with the cuppa, and uh, yep, she said, you're all good, you're right, good pick up. Uh, just go and make a statement. So, off I go, make another statement. <laughs> I turned around and said to her, you not, do you want a verbal statement? Because she already knows, it. Or, or what, am I needing to do it on the form? They've actually changed the process, so all I had to do was put it on an email. But she turned around and said, you write your statement so well. <laughs> your statements cover everything correctly, so, um, you know, we'll get you to write it down. We'll go from there. So, yeah. A little bit of fun and games at work. But uh, I came home and I was strange. Just... You know, our job as a controller is for the train drivers to keep them safe. They can't, it's not like driving a car where you can duck it. If, you, if you're heading one direction, you can swerve around. It's not like that. The only spot for them to go is straight up or straight back. And if there's something in front of them, which this driver had a train in front of him on the same section of track. Um, if, you know, that's why we, you know, our job is to keep them safe and that's why they need to call for authorities because I didn't tell him there was anything in front of him. He didn't, he may have been able to see it, may have driven past it when he did the, when he came to relieve the driver, but yeah, we don't know that, so yeah. But he's finally sitting down. But yeah, when something like that happens, you get a bit flustered on things. Um, yeah, I think, yeah. Um, yeah, my supervisor spoke to boss a couple of levels up about it, because when you have a, an incident like that, it actually has to, it get, gets reported to the rail authority, basically, and they have to investigate. Um, yeah, and they put them at different levels. Um, but yeah, there's a full investigation that goes on. But yeah, she, she's my supervisor turned around and told a couple of levels up what had happened. And um, he, uh, he turned around and he said, oh, that's a really good call, good pickup. That's what we need to, you know, keep doing. Um, and then he turns around and he goes, uh, who was the controller? <laughs> and Claire goes, Fiona. <laughs> and he goes, oh no. Um, because there's been, I've picked up so many breaches in the yard, it, it's ridiculous. Um, when I was typing my statement, you know, I went back to the, the desk where it happened because I had to use my, my computer that I was logged on to. Um, and the controller that took over from me turned around and said, he's in the right. And I'm saying, why? And he's going, he's got the whole road. That's He's got that authority. And then he called over another controller who's actually, you know, does acting supervisor. And he turns around and he said, what do you reckon about this? Did he have the road? 
easy right um, yeah it, would it was talked about and one of the, the the guy that took over from me believed the train driver did the right thing he wasn't in the wrong at all believed that he had his interpretation of the rules and that's the thing it's an interpretation of the rules is that um, yeah he had the right he, he has the authority on the road so the other controller who has you now does supervise work he turned around and said what was the authority given and I said uh, it was set back couple give us a call and yeah, so that guy actually turned around and said no that's that authority gave him the authority to go backwards, didn't give him the authority to go forwards. And the other control was going, but he's got the road, he's got the authority on two road, it's rah, rah, rah. And he's saying, you know, between signals, a train can go backwards and forwards between signals without any, any authority because he has that section of the track. And it's, no, it's in the yard, it's all verbal. He can't see that he has to come to a stop at a certain point. It's there's nothing preventing him from hitting anything in front of him. And then I turned around and said, but he changed crews, so it's a new driver as well. So he should have called to say he changed crews and uh, what the authority was. And then the, the uh, other controllers turned around, that was in agreement with me, turned around and said, well, he's, he's busted two limited, so two, he's breached two rules. Uh, two rail rules in one go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it just made me question just you know, yeah, just made me question a few things on that. So yeah, it's not, not good. But so I was flustered and I come home and I turn around and say, you know, there's say to Nathan there's an incident in the yard that's involved in and he goes, Were you at fault? And I went, no, I'm in the clear. I, you know, I, I was the one that picked up that that what what it was. But um, I'm in the clear. I wasn't required to be tested. I just only had to give a statement. And he goes, well, that was at work. <clears throat> Don't need to talk about it. And it's like I was frustrated, and I needed to get it out. And it would have been nice if he'd actually gone, yeah, tell me all about it. But he doesn't. Um, and that's the thing, when an event happens, when something happens at work, he gets and goes, well, that's at work, you're at home now, you're all good, you're safe, you're fine. Which is true. But it's still frustrating. Can you, I don't know if you can hear Bob in the background. He is just standing and huffing. He's not sitting down. He's standing and huffing and sulking. <laughs> That was Bo's sign. <laughs> All right, hang on a sec. You're going to be dizzy and go upside down. But here we go. Where is he? There he is right there. <laughs> Bo. You're sulking. You're sulking, aren't you? You went for a walk without anybody, without a collar, without a lead. And you're sulking because you're locked in this room with me, aren't you? Hey, and and and, and the man of the house told you off. <laughs> there you go. There's a bit of bow. I will say I can't remember whether I actually told you that I've got some footage of bow sleeping. Um, you guys seem to like. You guys seem to like uh, snippets of bow. <laughs> Stop sulking. <laughs> so this whole time for the last what eighteen minutes, he hasn't sat down. He is just standing up. He refuses to sit down and get comfortable. Um, but yeah, I've got some footage of Bo. I uh, I was watching. He was asleep on the couch, and I was watching him, and I was watching his nose twitch. And then I woke him up. So I'll pop that in here, um, watch his nose twitching while he's asleep.
been having a big sleep. Did you have a big sleep? Do you want to go back to sleep? Oh boy. You're looking at me, are you? Oops. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Go back to sleep, buddy. Are you opening your eyes? Believe it or not, those eyes are open, aren't they? What are you doing? Are you happy? Are you a happy puppy? Papa? No, when you just wake up. Hmm? You're going back to sleep. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's quite cute. And I'll wake him up. But he wakes up happy. He's good. He's always happy to wake up and see me. I don't think he likes the camera in his face, but he's going to get used to it. Because I'll share from more footage of Bo when he does, when he starts doing something stupid. I'll share it with you guys. I'll leave it there. Um, hope you guys are having a great day. Um, hope you've got somebody that you can talk to. Um, but hopefully this this is a little bit more entertainment in your day just to sit and drill to sit and do crafts to of uh, whatever craft you're doing and uh, guys yeah hit the thumbs up thumbs down leave me a comment um, I will go through all the comments when I do my next whip and chat uh, so yeah yeah uh, if you're not subscribed subscribe Hit the button to subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of more uploads. Still waiting on Sophie and Toffee Box. Frustration on that one. But it's all good, not too concerned. It will get here eventually. They have actually turned around and said um, if anything happens with the boxes, uh, they will refund or replace. So they will actually send another box. So yeah, it's amazing what they've had to do. And there we go, I've continued rabbiting on yet again. So guys, I'll talk to you later and uh, bye for now.